Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Uh, so this week's uh, video is going to be a modification of a modification. Yes, you heard that right. A modification of a modification. So what do you mean, Mike? What are you talking about? So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've been wanting to do this one for a little while now. So you guys already know that I modified the antenna on the actual um, remote itself. Um, but I wanted to do a different modification. So adding on to the range of this guy, um, I wanted to put on a stronger antenna. And this is going to be actually a two-part. So I'm not only going to be modifying the antenna again on the remote to see if I can get farther distance, but I'm also going to be modifying the antenna on the actual um, drone itself. So it's a two-part. So I've ordered two of these antennas, and they're just a simple 2.4 gigahertz, um, 6 dBi um, antenna. They're just a standard one that you would use for like a, a router or like a Wi-Fi, basically. Is what those are. So again, I, I ordered two of those. They come with uh, the two antennas, and then they come with all the little connectors and everything like that. Uh, so again, so what we're going to do is we're going to be, be uh, modifying the actual remote. I'm going to be uh, putting a uh, new antenna on here, and then also on the uh, drone itself on the back here, um, I'm going to be putting one of these antennas uh, right here because the antenna inside here is also. Um, super tiny. It's really little. Um, there's not much range to it. So I think if we put on one of these on the remote and then we put the same one on the drone, I'm hoping we'll be able to get at least a better range or a stronger signal from the remote. So uh, maybe less flyaways and things like that that I've heard of uh, people getting. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to pause here for a second. I'm going to turn the camera over here and uh, show you what I'm going to do. So first, basically, we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, remote and we're going to, uh, I'm not going to desolder off the board this time. I'm just going to cut the wire, um, splice the wire, and then what I'm going to do is uh, open up the wire on one of these guys and then I'm just going to basically connect it. Um, so that way I don't have to mess with uh, um, putting the uh, solder on the board or anything like that. So hold on guys uh, for just a uh, few moments here and I will be right back. Alright guys, so the first step we have to do, um, just like before, is we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws off the back of the uh, remote. And uh, remember, before you do that, just remove the batteries out of the back so that way um, there's no power going to that. So let me unscrew these real quick and uh, we'll start on the next step. Okay, so now that I've gotten the uh, remote open here, um, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, remove my antenna that I already previously installed here. And again, I'm not going to uh, desolder. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to be, I'm going to snip that because I may use this possibly um, somewhere maybe on a, a future uh, project. So I want to have enough uh, left over that I can um, still use it. So I'm just going to snip the wire there in half and I'm going to keep that um, separated. I'm not going to do any kind of soldering at all. And then uh, since I don't have any actually wire strippers, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, just do that really quick here, and then just be careful of the uh, the wires. And um, I actually uh, I pulled the antenna wire, which is what I wasn't planning on doing, but that's okay. Um, it's not a worry. So, uh, so we'll just have to uh, go through and. Uh, uh, just put the whole new wire on. So, all right. Well, that's okay. Uh, it happens. So, just keep in mind, guys, when you're uh, if you're going to do this, just be really careful with that antenna. I just pulled it from the uh, the actual uh, the wires. So, just be uh, be mindful of that. Okay. So, here's the new antenna wire. So, I'm going to just snip off the uh, the very end here. All right. There we go. And then I'm going to snip off a little bit of wiring here there we go okay all 
All right, and then that, this is what it uh, looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to uh, mount this right here, um, just like I did before. Um, that way the antenna will just screw right on there. Uh, so I don't have to mess with uh, drilling a hole into the side or anything like that. So I'm going to pause for a few minutes, guys. I'm going to let the uh, uh, soldering iron warm up a little bit more. can feel the heat, so it should be just about ready. And then, um, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so just like in the uh, the previous antenna uh, modification, um, all I did was just uh, add a little solder to the wire before I put it on here. Just lightly give it a little tug just to make sure that um, it is nice and secure on there. And then uh, so now that I'm done with my uh, soldering, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together and then um, mount the, uh, the antenna and I'll uh, be right back and show you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so now that I'm done putting the uh, remote back together, there's what it looks like on the top. Um, so in this little kit that I bought off Amazon, um, it comes with some locking washers and nuts. So what I'm going to do is put a locking nut right there, and I'm going to use uh, one of these nuts here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Um, so hold on a second, I'll go grab some pliers so I can tighten that down. Alright, so now that I've gotten that nice and uh, snug on there, now it it may be a little off and, you know, I'm not OCD or, you know, real particular, so it doesn't bother me all too much that it kind of is a little off-center, that's okay. Um, fine by me, it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, then, um, you know, just untighten it, retighten it, and then all I'm going to do is just going to put my uh, antenna and screw it right on there. There we go. Okay, I got our antenna. All right, and then, uh, so there's our new antenna. Uh, it's a lot bigger than it was before. Uh, so real quick, I'm just going to, I've got a battery still in the, uh, the drone. I'm just going to uh, turn on the drone really quick. <sighs> well, I've got it, and uh, I just want to make sure that uh, the controller um, still binds to the uh, the quadcopter. So we'll give it a second here. All right, turning on the uh, remote, and uh, looks like it still got power, so that's a good thing. I'm going to uh, up and down. All right, and we still got uh, a nice uh, solid lights. Um, I'm gonna fly. Just turn on the uh, motors here really quick. I just want to make sure they still spin. are uh, good so okay all right so that was uh, part one of the uh, the modification that we did so again um, this modification was really super easy guys uh, hold on I'll be right back I'm just gonna um, pause here and put everything away all right guys so uh, got everything all uh, put away and cleaned up there so I hope you um, enjoyed uh, part one of the modify a modification um, so uh, part one again was uh, we added a, a longer antenna. This is still a 2.4 gigahertz, but this is a 6 uh, dBi omnidirectional um, antenna. I ordered off uh, Amazon. Um, I got a two pack of them. I think it was like 10 bucks for them. They're really uh, cheap and inexpensive. Um, another cool thing about this antenna mod is if you want, you can actually just go like this and you can remove your antenna and you can put it in your bag. And then when you're at your location park wherever you're going to be flying you can just put it right on top there screw it on and then uh, boom you are uh, ready to go so um, but anyway so that's the uh, the second part or the first part of a two-part series here I'm gonna do on the modification so um, in the next video that you guys will see I'm gonna do the actual modification to the drone itself so what we're gonna do basically is we're going to uh, take apart the pro mark um, like we would be replacing the motor basically. If you liked part one of this modification, please give me a thumbs up. And if you really like the channel, you enjoy my videos, reviews, tips, tricks, um, things like that, hit the subscribe button for me guys down at the bottom. And next to it, hit the bell as well. If you hit the bell, 
that just lets you know when I've got new videos that are uploaded each week for you guys. Um, that way, uh, sometimes if you just hit the subscribe button, you won't get notified when I get new videos, and that's why I always tell everybody to hit the bell. So if you do that, you'll get notified. And again, I typically always upload on Thursdays, Fridays, sometimes the weekends, and typically on Mondays, we have a live stream uh, where we just uh, catch up. I give you guys what's going on, Q&A, things of that nature. So uh, thank you guys for all the new subscribers that I've got. We're up over 800 now. Um, so when we hit a thousand subscriber guys, um, I'm planning on doing another drone giveaway. Now I don't know what drone I'm going to be giving away. Um, I'll contact GearBest and maybe um, I can work out a deal with them and maybe we can uh, come up with a drone or something that we can uh, give away. Uh, in the meantime guys, um, I thank you again for all the new subscribers, all the wonderful comments. Um, and as always guys, let's uh, keep our drones up in the air and flying high. Don't forget to check out the Patreon page, guys. If you can, donate a dollar or two. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, got my very first Patreon, so just wanted to give a huge shout-out to Kurt Gaggle. I hope I said your last name right. If I didn't say it right, I apologize. But uh, So he was uh, my very first Patreon, and he has uh, pledged $10 a month. So what he will get is he will get a... Um, at the end of my videos, I'm going to add a credits, so he's going to be in there as a Patreon. And then also, since he did the $10, um, he's going to get a um, monthly shout-out, just like now, um, for the uh, for the Patreon that does the uh, $5 level. And at the $10 level, um, he gets to pick whatever subject that he would like me to do for the next video. So Kurt's thinking about that right now. He's going to let me know. Um, and we'll see what uh, his video is going to be. So thank you again to my very first patron, uh, Kurt. I really appreciate you. Um, right now he's the uh, the biggest fan that I have, so thank you guys so much. Um, I do appreciate uh, all the support that you guys give to me. So uh, in that ending, uh, thank you very much, and have a great, guy, or great day, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.